Yes, the rules are done. If you will be first, the rules are free then. Of course, it's all around the world. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is the radio being for Extra. Of course, we are streaming live through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio. A platform that is dedicated to looking out for the overall interest of our people. In this evening's segment, we're going to focus on the seventh dimension, which is actually to this problem are not far away. Those who are not able to protect their 
family will only be victim of circumstance. The family eventually become the determined factor on what the life of the people may look like or what it may represent. The people view on it has an institution. Some people say marriage is an institution. I will partially accept that when it is considered a social institution. Because if we say it is an academic institution, it then implies that it is something one will have to graduate from. We come back a little bit to look at the issue of Biafra, for instance. The first Biafra nation was made up of the Old Eastern region. But everybody in the Old Eastern region were not all from the same tribe. Because in Ojuku Biafra, a Gala was there. In Ojuku Biafra, a Duma was there. But of course, on this extent, it is obvious that not everyone walk with him. And so those who were ready moved on. Why am I bringing it out? Despite the fact that we have different dialects, the culture are the same. The value system are the same. This could only be possible that these people migrated from a singular home. Home does change. Let me digress a little bit to bring you home. Abraham had two sons. Both of them were from different women. One of them is his sister, Sarai, and the other is the housemaid, Haggai, an Egyptian woman. The Egyptian woman gave birth to a son, Ishmael, and then Sarah gave birth to Isaac. These two young men grew up to become two different people entirely. And that is because Isaac followed the custom and tradition of his father and his mother who were actually from the same place. But Hagar, Egyptian woman, took the son Ishmael to another direction and taught that son to behave like his people. From both of them emerged two nations that exist today. And so you see, something went wrong in that family. And so they produced rivals. Our ancestors understand this truth. So in their time, they never toyed with the issue of marriage. 90% of all of you who are 40 years and above were raised up in a polygamous home. All of you had room. But there were rules and regulations. I want to believe there were more peace than we have today. More united family except for some few families where certain principles were not followed. Now when a nation or a family begins to grow, it is the ability to manage the family from the home who determine how that family will be. Every nation around the world have culture and tradition. And that is why within the Biafran territory where we have homogeneous society. You see, our values are the same. Our cultures and traditions are almost 95% the same. The animals within our territory are almost the same. But that does not mean we are not the same with the Yorubas, we are not the same with the Hausa, we are all black and we are all human. 
but we can be referred to as a homogeneous society. The evidence abound, and it was sustainable to this very day. Why? Because the family were able to play their roles. Let us first of all understand that family are formed by God. It is God's initiative to have a family. And if you have followed the initiative, the plan of God for family, I do not think most of the problem we are going today will be there. Because he has signed and equipped the male and the female to play their role perfectly. Even to animals who may not have a vital knowledge of what family is. But they do protect themselves in such an amazing way. Families are created by culture and tradition. It has its own challenges. A man will rise up one day and then he picks a woman and then he starts a family. And then along the line, based on culture and tradition, they have other people living close to them. And in those days, it is easy for those people to be integrated. And so many years later, you will see completely two strangers who decide to build their home close to each other will eventually have their blood compromised and they become family. And so most cases today you go to some community, they call them Idumwesa, like in my area. They call some Umbano. They call some Umbituru. Umbituri. What does it mean? How did it come there? When I went to Mbitiri, for instance, and I asked the brother who took me there, and I said, why is this place called Mbitiri? And one of their signboard, he showed me a statue of some persons, about eight or ten of them. They were chained together. They held their hands together. They were at the center of the main road. He said, these are the people who form this community. And so, they are not from the same place. But they settle in that place, having sojourn from different directions. They had agreement which enables them to begin to build a home. And each of them from their home raised up family. Today I can assure you that when you go to such communities, you will not be able to know the one that comes from far and the one that comes from close. And so families are formed in that way. But do not forget that these families as they are being formed, they have guiding principles. If not, they cannot survive. Families are formed by scientific innovation. Today, the world, having been so advanced, are creating their own family. A lot of children don't know their father. A lot of children don't even have. Technologically, it's so advanced. That very soon you will, in fact, it has started already. You can go to where they have advanced medical equipment, technology in terms of that, and then they, they put, draw your sperm or any other person's sperm if you don't have, put it in the cubital, fertilize it with the human egg, and then create a version of the kind of son you have. A lot of things are happening most of us don't know. And I can imagine if your semen, your sperm, had been taken to create a man for another man who may be impotent. 
and then a stranger will come up all of a sudden he's going to be adopted in a home but you see it cannot be connected and some people are building soldiers already it will shock you they teach them not to have feeling they are human 100 percent human i don't want to digress further but you see certain attitude of certain human being like you most of you in nigeria will not believe that almost 80 percent no almost 14 percent of nigerians are what do they call them what do they call these people they are neither man nor woman why did i forget what they call them i've seen a lot of women with man organ and i've seen a lot of men with woman organ at the same time one of the boys we saw he chose to appear as a man but he has a private part and some of his friends knew and they go to the bush and do rubbish and when the boy was caught we said in your family did anybody know you have such condition he said only the grandmother and the grandmother kept it quiet i forgot what they called such people anyway when i remember it i tell you but they are already in our society you may see them on facebook you think they are everywhere some of them choose to be a woman so sometimes when you see a woman you think you are dealing with a woman that woman with her breast will beat hell out of you imagine you marry such woman in your house a lot of issues about whom we have neglected in time past that is what we are suffering today but if we have followed the culture of our ancestors monitor some of the things regarding the building of family black people will not be here today okay they call them transgender no transgender should be those who want to change or maybe that is what it is maybe men who want to behave like women or women who want to be but this one is he's a man and yet he's a woman at the same time and of course those of you on facebook if you know what they call them you you, you can just test it there for me and so scientific innovation is creating family and then finally you have political innovation family politically family are being made and most of us are victim of it but i don't expect you to understand everything at once but i need you to pay attention if you understand all these things your family cannot break your family cannot suffer your family cannot be wiped out we look at political innovation family government of different world are creating their own family and let's look at certain st statistics maybe we'll be able to understand if you consider the african nation for instance statistics have it that the current record for single mothers let's look at continent for some continent in asia continent you have 6.3 percent single mother you see it's a bit low and that is why you see asian nation they are progressing because they don't play with their family they can tell you you have only one or you have only two they understand the vital role family is meant to be if your home must succeed your family must be in order if your family is in order you're going to have a very serene society if your society your community is in order you're going to have a unique nation they may have population but they are very careful how they manage their family if you move on you look at the american continent american continent have 19 percent 
out of their general population who are single mother. These people are making family. And then you come to Africa. Africa have 25% who are single mother. And then you go to Europe. Europe have 12% who are single mother. Let's consider this three. Europe have a record of 12% who are single mother. African continent has 22%. American continent have 19%. And then Australia have, Asia rather, have 6.3%. But let me go back to the United States, for example. The black American single mother, whether you are a black man, you went there, whether you are a black American, you have been lost. Only God knew when they took your ancestors there. The rate of single mother in the um, United States of America is 64%. Only black people, only black people. 64 percent of black people in america are raised by single mother and some of you think is development some of you think it happened by mistake that is what we call political innovation politically they are creating family and so they pick up the father in it and put him in the cell they allow the woman to train the son how can a woman train a son according to your culture and tradition how can a woman train a son understand i am not trying to talk anybody down i'm not against anybody i just want the next generation of our people to understand that there are certain things you don't toil away with you will not be the only one that will suffer it many individuals many of our people will suffer for it out of all the tribes you have in america you are not talking about the caucasians you are not talking about the europeans you are not talking about so many of them we are not talking about the Indians, the Tarasitator, all of them put together. Blacks from African country, immigrants, and blacks whose father were taken there as slaves. Whether you are a Bakajasin or you are anything. All of the black, 64% of the single mothers in America are blacks. Why? These are political. That is why the blacks today in America, for instance, they don't have a stick in America. Of course, they are allowed to live normal life. They are okay. But you see, they are not in any way connected to that country. And they can't come home. I have a friend in America who has a son and she has a misunderstanding with the son and the son left and went to another area to start living. And the woman can't go and see the son. The son says, Mommy, you can't come to my house if I don't want you to come to my house. And every day the woman is dying gradually. Because the government will tell you, you are abusing my child. It's my child right. My brother, you know the America, who, that we they suffer this thing. Who. So I need you to check America. And then you are black. And then you think there is no need for you to go back to your root. Father and mother don't play the same role in the family. It is your father that brings about discipline chastisement when I was in my father's home the discipline was so severe that even before my father raised the king I have started feeling the pain the worst thing that can happen to me is for my mother to say just wait let your father come back that day I will turn born again And you see, despite the fact that the father is there to direct our way, it is the mother that shows us the love that keeps us at home. And so in the absence of your father, forget about discipline. You're going to have children without direction. Only few of them make it up morally. 
so in case you think uh, it doesn't make sense it makes sense we look at europe in the european continent like i said 12 percent a single mother and out of that 12 percent i am sure 98 percent are black people understand 98 percent of the ones in europe are black people all of them single mother why because those of you in europe most especially london only those of you that god bless are the ones who still have their wife in that because the moment you want to marry you now remember decent village guests when you carry that decent village girl to london they will meet that aguru an indecent city girl who is from your village they will corrupt your wife i have over 15 friends their husband have chased them out of the house they have child benefit husband benefit that is what they do in europe they chase you out of your house they are protecting your wife your wife can wake up now and call police my husband is insulting me my god they are throwing you out of your house and one of them almost killed himself they can't allow him to see his children he tried to force his way to go and see his children. Police warned him. In fact, government have to give his wife home in another community and forbid him from going there. We are talking about home. And I'm sure the man lost his children and his wife. And British government is paying his wife. They are living big, fine, fine woman. But then, what kind of son are you raising and then what legacy are those children going to be the lineage is counted by the man in our tradition but the woman is the custodian of your culture and tradition in the absence of it those children will never get hold of anywhere the rate of single mother in Africa is very low but in the recent time it's increasing and this is because no husband this is because no wife but somebody is going to tell me oh there is too much men there is too much men now lie there is too much women there is too much men that is a lie because we don't know how to go about it and we don't care we waste our life living in fantasy somewhere along the lines thinking you will make it up the family is more than that there are a lot of issues we need to discuss this program may not be enough to look into all of them but we'll continue to review them one after the other until we are done in whatever way the family is formed its only survival will be determined by the stipulated principle by the formation of which it is brought together There are deliberate war targeted even at black family around the world. And like I said, in Europe is the worst of it all. When it comes to political attack on marriages or marriage institution concerning the black. Majority of the black man stays in prison and their son will be free to become another hooligan who will later pregnant another woman and then he goes to prison after they have had a son or a baby girl and then that one will grow up if he's a boy he will still go to jail and so on and so forth and if you say okay you don't want problem you are coming home you want to marry and you are in europe you are going to take your children from you and give it to your wife they are going to train your wife. In fact, they will give your children to Igbo. 
what kind of home are those people going to make? Our ancestors who did it regretted it greatly. And our ancestors never prayed about it. And that is why you see most countries in the world, they have proper documentation for their family. I'm not in Germany, but I know Germans don't do that. They have proper documentation. All of you blacks, all of you Nigerians who marry German women, you are your children are documented. They are recorded. Even here in Nigeria, it, it does happen. Now, why are we bringing up this issue this evening? We are gradually losing our way when it comes to the issue of building a marriage. To set up a family, first of all, the husband must rise on time and look for the wife. One of the challenges of modern day marriage. You see people, they dated for three months, four months. They've gone to the altar. Number one error. What can you know about a woman in four months except her bank account? You jump into marriage. What can you know about a man about a woman as a man, you jump into marriage in four months. You have to have a bank account. But she's using charm for you. But you don't believe in charm. But in most cases, you have to have a bank account. Is the four months enough to know who you are? Do I tell you if you meet in one week that it's okay? You cannot have a successful marriage? But some things are not right. In those days, there is room for courtship. A boy and a girl, they grew up together. They knew each other. And sooner than later, they are just friends. Watch those kind of people. When they get married, nothing can stand in between them. They build a successful home. But these days, we, don't, we do not take the issue of marriage serious anymore. Why? Because of hardship of life. Go and look at your fathers. Majority of them are at a very tender age. But today, you will see a woman at 45, no husband. You will see a man at 40, no husband. They are waiting to be rich, to make money. And then, after making money, what X? And now, you are 45 years, and you get married to a woman of 50 years. So when your child is 10 years, you will be 55. And so when your child is 20 years, he will be 65. Now, as a 65 years old man, which is even fair, are you sure you can control a 20 years old man? Some of you think that, no, I have to marry when I'm old because you don't want stress. But adventure, you died at the age of 60 and your son or child is 15 years. If you do not have a proper foundation put in place, others will eat everything you have worked for. And your children are going to suffer more than you have suffered. It's happening everywhere. And so you are doing a marry later. And you will be looking at your children. They are still very small. And you are an old man already. My brother, you are a failure. Because those children does not know you. They know nothing about you. There is nothing, nothing. Many people today are victims of 
the society because there is no father to guide them. Family. It is applicable to the women. You are 50 years and you are just having the first baby. When are you going to train that baby? When are you going to culture that baby? Okay, people with nanny will take care of them, right? Or you send them to orphanage home. That is where they know who they are. We are playing with family. Nobody is perfect. But with special arrangement, we can work together. And then you see so many women are not married today. This is because they don't understand what marriage is. Some of them are too intelligent. Some of them are working class women. Some of them are harsh. No man will marry a woman who is harsh or who doesn't have respect for him. Except that man is not mentally okay. I have a friend. She, is, she should be close to 57 years now. But I tell you, if you see this young lady, she's looking like 35 years old. She's almost 57 years, if not more than. But she looked like 30 something. She has not entered the monopause. She's a fervent Christian. She has not married. She's beautiful. She's hard working. We have prayed along with her for more than five years. And then one day we went for a convention. And all of us were lodged in the same environment. And then I noticed the way she was treating other women. Dishing out other. You sit down there. You, what is wrong with you? You uh uh. And I begin to wonder. So this girl, this is how she is. She's a man. And I now know where her problem is coming from. It's difficult for me to tell her without she misunderstanding me. And with this frustration, she may end up and say, okay, let me just have a son. You just want to have a son and you dump liability, you dump problem. That is why we have a lot of wicked people. That is why we have a lot of atrocities, evil within our community. Because our family foundation, our family issue is not properly looked into. A lot of things are wrong. Some, some men are impotent. They cannot have a child. And their wife know and their wife will go out and bring pregnancy for the man. And the man will be happy. If I, one of these is a testimony I got from synagogue church. I would not have believed except I knew that family. We are living around Bagada in Lagos. And then the people live behind us. We all went to the synagogue church. And when then the late B. Joshua started prophesying, no, they came for miracle because the woman was having stroke already. I said, when it was their turn for T.B. Joshua to attend to them, T.B. Joshua said to the woman, Madam, God will not heal you until you confess your sin. We know the woman, so we paid attention. Until B. Joshua say, I'm not going to tell you what you have done. You have to confess. That is the only way God will save you. If you live here without doing that, you are gone. And then the woman said that he has four children for the husband. That the four children, none of them is the man's child. 
He said when they got married, he discovered that the man was impotent. He couldn't have a child. But they loved the man. And so he went and bring in children. And the man, the TB Joshua said why he was, why God is angry about the whole thing is that the people pregnanting this woman and the man's friends. So when the man goes to work, his friends will come and be defining the, 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 this thing. So, with this, the man of God told the man that God will heal you. You will have your own children. Don't chase this woman away. But God wants you to know that those children are not children. And, and you can understand why when you say yes, your son say two, you say three, your son say twenty, you will hear mama keep papa, papa keep papa, you see criminals running everywhere, you see different kind of people in your family, and then people begin to ask questions, where this one for come? All these things I think you are supposed to know about marriage, about freezing family. It's quite deep and quite long and now the next generation must understand because one has fought cannot put an end to a successful family you can still make a family but a require meticulous engagement in the whole process you both should know yourself you both should be able to understand what life is talking about and both of you must be able to plan the kind of home you want to have. Now, whatever you do with your home, determine what happened to you later on. If I tell you there is a home close to me, the mother, the father, and the daughter, they are one chance runners. They have a car. In the evening like this, the man will behave like a taxi driver. The wife will sit at the back. The daughter will sit at the front. And then they carry one of their workmen. They pretend as if they are running taxi. What they are doing is kidnapping people. Put chemical in your nose, collect your money, drop you anywhere. And everybody in the area knows that is what they do. And then, the girl is young. And then, innocent as you are, you are going to jump in there because she's young, plumpy, very shapy. You're going to marry her. You will kidnap your son and call you that kidnapper have taken our son. And you will pay ransom to her. But they can be redeemed. If we are not able to get the family set and right, we are not going anywhere. And so the next generation must understand that as we are, as you are growing up, you are single, you don't old, go and get married. Money is not the issue. It is the mentality that is important. Somebody say, ah, it's too hard, don't marry. It's a lie. Things are hard, we know. People are buying cars. Things are hard, we know. People are building houses. Things are hard, we know. People are traveling overseas. Things are hard, yes, we know. People are still investing. in take your Because if you know what it means to have children at your young age, most of you will do that. Of course, you have to be prepared. Because the society we know today. I want you to look at all our leaders in Nigeria here. I want you to find out their family background. You will understand why they behave. Why they behave. I don't want to be biased. But if I begin to call the name of most of your leader and who brought them up, you will know why we are here that we will find ourselves. And so the family... It's a very important organ that should not be toyed with. You have two children. Don't let them get out of control, out of order. 
don't give that chance. Understand that you are not going to die. You we are not dying anyway. Because after you are gone, you are still here. Through them, you are still alive. How would you want them to be? So whatever we are doing, there is a need for all of us to go back and review our home. And pay close attention to our home. And teach our children what they are supposed to know. Because the success of any nation starts from the family. From the family. You go to Singapore. It starts from the family. You go to Dubai. It stands from the family. The moment you allow an external force to influence your family structure, you are gone. And maybe you begin to understand why. Despite God endowment, human resources, despite the achievement of blacks all over the world, we don't have image on this earth. Africa is like a dustbin where others will come and meet and go. They don't have respect for you. What America will do in Nigeria, they cannot do it in Japan. What Britain will do in Ghana, they cannot do it in Israel. What most of these colonial masters will do here in Nigeria, they cannot do it anywhere near Vietnam. Why? Because these people started rebuilding the family. But today, our society are losing it. The more we have hopeless children, disorganized home, the more we are fit to do their evil purpose. Our fathers were not like that. It is true most of them couldn't send us to school. But they repositioned everyone to be successful. They guided everyone. So what I'm trying to say in effect is the family remain one of the strongest king posts that will hold our people together if we must survive. There are so many reasons we joined the struggle in the first place. And how we lost everything is determined by the family we come from. And then we say IPOB one family, IPOB one family. But it is to be expected because watching on the kind of family, you will know why he is doing what he is doing. Three picking different different papa, different mama. You will know why he is doing that. Why his father cannot talk to him. I say I don't want to mention name, but look at them, you will understand. How do we become one family? How do we raise a family that can defend what we represent? Each time you come out and say, I'm from this community. This is my community. I need you to take time and look at the size of your community and find out how many people that were living in that community like 50 years ago. You will be shocked they are not up to 14 or 20 persons. And they were able to acquire such land and make proper use of it and keep it for you. Raising family after family. But today, where are they? Where are our culture? Where are our traditions? Some continents who understand this secret, they don't play with their family. For instance, India. Have you seen India marrying any tribe outside their country? Because they understand the importance of family. Did I say you should not marry outside that? No. But when majority of us are doing that, 
Some of our people in diaspora, Yamaren Gabon, Gikapo, Odogopo, Araganto. Don't worry. It's just that you will not be here to see the problem you have caused behind. There is a Chinese man that lived in my town. He lived in Abo for more than 50 years. Because I grew up to meet that Chinese family in Abo. They speak Abo. They are Abo people. When I went home lately, I went to check them. Their father is dead. The elder brother who is acting as their father now is old and has returned to their place. That's why the fact they can speak Abo, they opened the plastic industry in Abo. That was their family business. Till they went back, they did not marry any Abo person. All the children they married there, as they grow up, they go and bring wife for them. And I'm sure they will not be there in the next 15, 20 years. And I'm sure the children they, they, they gave birth to will not go back to Japan like Nigerians. They would have been properly indoctrinated. You cannot rise up to fight for a single line of defense. When the family is built from different perspectives, that is what is happening to us today. Now, this may not concern all of us. But pick from where you have made mistakes or where you are doing right. Pay attention on your family. The man represents the lineage. But the woman is the custodian. So men, teach your wife your culture and your tradition. They will catch up faster than you think. You marry a Hebrew, you marry another country. It's not an issue now. Teach them your culture and tradition. You will see, they learn faster than you can imagine. But if you neglect that your responsibility, they are gone. They are the custodian. Give that information to them. You will secure your future. Stop waiting till you make all the money. Your children will suffer for it. There is a man I work for. Very wealthy man. He should be nothing less than 70 years. And as of that time, I'm telling you, his first child is about 8 months. His first son is about 8 months. Very wealthy man. He was busy traveling all over the world, making so much money. And, and the question should be, if the man die now, how would that child have access to those money? Bank manager or lawyer, how will it be? What arrangement is he making? Where is that child going to start from? Yahoo, Yahoo. Where exactly will that child start from? It takes the grace of God for people like that to survive. And they are going to live entire generally different life. Our fathers followed all of us up. They know what we can do. They know what we cannot do. They know what we represent. And you see, the moment family structure begins to destroy, we begin to lose a lot of things. To close it this evening, I want to remind you, in those days, do you know father and mother don't die without dropping a message? Then there was family. The structure has been broken and a lot of things have been taken away from us. And the Bible says when Abraham was old and he knew he was going to die. And so he called his son Isaac and said prepare me porridge the type that I will like. So that I may eat and bless you. He knew he was going to die. I'm not looking at the 419 they did there. But he knew he was going to die. Do you know 90% of our parents who died knew they were going to die? But today, other parents, 
if they want to die they think the nearest person around them is this their son they will even die and not say anything if they had money on that chair they look at this one i won't give the money i bet we can die safe why because many things are bad because in those days when somebody died in my place the first thing they ask the son is who was there when he died and then the next thing they say is this person they say what did he say do you talk to who don't talk to you and then it boils down to those issues you don't take care of your parents as a son you are part of the family you don't take care of your age parents it's part of the family you don't take care of your in-law it's part of the family we all know the confusion that is surrounding the family circle. and then we look at misplacement of family some people we don't even know who you are they ask you what is your name your name is selling John Roosevelt and for God's sake, you are from my village. How can you be selling John Roosevelt? No, it doesn't mean you are selling John Roosevelt. My dear, you are gone. I'm, I'm here to see how many Chinese people are answering all this kind of name. I'm here to see Arab people, how many are answering that kind of name. I've not seen American man answering our name. I have not seen European person answering our need, even here in Nigeria. It is almost impossible to see Yoruba self answer Igbo name. But it's not the hatred that causes it. It's people who understand why they must build their family and keep it intact. And so when we are building family, for instance, teach your family to have respect for other people. Teach your family to value the point of view of other people. Most things happening today will not happen today. You just wake up, you jump on people's platform, you say, oh, you are evil, you are criminal. It's coming from your family. It's what you are taught in your family. True family resolve issue. They do not victimize anybody to have their way so the essence of this discussion back to your root is we need to go back and begin to look at issues surrounding our homes and marriages why are we having so many of our sisters not married why are many of the young men not getting married why is it that we have issues of childbearing and of course we have a lot of health complication in the family why is it that most children don't take care of their parents they don't even respect their parents why is the high rate of children killing parents and why are they single mother everywhere there is so much to discuss here but then if you are listening to this program your first investment, your greatest investment, should be your family. Why you are attending to your immediate family, because that is where you came from. They have a reason they allow you to be there. Begin to prepare as well for your future family. When Jacob went to serve his uncle Laban, he got to a stage and said to Laban, I want to marry. So now let me serve you so I can be able to get something for me and my family and then I should be going. He served the family of Laban, who was his extended family. But he never forget that he will make his own family. A culture and tradition. While our father take care of us, they take care of their own parents. And while we assist our parents, we prepare to raise up our own family. And as far as everything is in line, you cannot break such family. Whatever you want to do, whatever you are going to achieve, that evolution 
start from the family. Family are meant to stay together. Family are meant to live together. Family are meant to survive together. And if it has to be to suffer together, family are there. But I think family is the first achievement. And when we set in our priority, it should be first on that list. On this note, I will bring this discussion to an end. I've only noticed that most of our people don't have regard for the family. We don't know who is an elder. We don't know who our grandmothers are. We don't even go close to them. How do we know what they know? We will think that all the old, old people in our village are witches and wizards. You don't even know the potential each family carries. There are families that have this gift of longevity. They can live very long. There are families that have this gift of good health. There are families that have this good of wealth. Different gifts follow different families. How will you know them? There are the ones that have gift of bad luck. How will you know them? Every of the problem have solution. But you need to understand. You need to understand what family is all about. And of course, at this moment, I'll bring the discussion to an end. And uh, the WhatsApp line is open. And that is if you are able to call in before a random. It is zero nine zero three eight zero five seven one three one zero nine zero five seven zero sorry zero nine zero three eight zero five seven one three one And in the next discussion, we will talk about marriage. We we'll look at the areas as it affects women. And most of women who are looking for husband, there are things you should do and there are things you should not do. But you cannot know because you never grow with your mother. Or maybe your mother did not tell you how to behave to a man. And you are a man. You are looking for Mrs. Perfect. You may never see them. In fact, you will not see Mrs. Perfect. But you have this problem because as a man, you never confide in your mother. You never told her about your woman. Not to talk of you telling your father. Some of your problems are very minute. All you need is a counselor with discernment. A counselor that knows what your problem is. Because what the problem may be, they are very simple. But if you don't know, you don't know. And so in our, our next discussion on this issue of family, we will go a little bit in depth to see how we can be able to start our marriage, how we can be able to get married, and how we can be able to grow our family. But that issue will not be discussed on the radio. And so if you are a woman, you are old, age is telling on you, you are not yet married, You are free to embrace me. We will counsel you. You will be a testimony to others. You are a man. You are afraid. That you are poor. You cannot get married. My brother, you are suffering your unborn children. I'm telling you. Because when you are old... They cannot benefit anything from you. You are gone. Forget about how much you have. 
But if you have made the mistake before now, don't relent. Teach those children. Push them up. They will adapt. Don't think they are too small to learn. It is just for you to realize that you have to begin to train them. After all, say train up a child in the way he should go. And so when he's old, he cannot depart from it. Some of you are not doing that. You are old already. Your children are small, small children. You say they are small. They will soon grow. No. Train them up. And so for the next segment is for men and women who are finding it difficult to have their soulmate and start up a family. On this very note, I'll be signing off. Don't let anybody deceive you. The beginning of the journey as far as culture and tradition is concerned. It starts from your home. And when you break the culture and tradition, religion cannot save any of you. Because they are two different things. Your beliefs cannot save any of you. Because they are two different things. Let us pay attention in our home. Let us pay attention to everything around us. You can save them. I remind you, Johnny B, and I sign off from here. Tomorrow we'll continue from where we stop.